Okay, I wasn't planning to make another video, but uh, for my loyal viewers, they will get to see these uh, Dollar Tree DVDs. And for my viewers that don't watch every video, they might miss these. So um, it's a benefit to be subscribed to me and watch nearly every other video. So last night I went to grab a soda because I just felt like I needed one. And gosh, I don't know what happened, but I, I went to the DVDs just, just to double check. They were all gone. I was like, oh, they moved them or something happened. They put some other kind of random thing there. And then I went down looking for the sodas and off to the side there was a huge shelf that most people didn't probably notice and mountains of DVDs. Now the old ones were mixed in there and there were quite a few of the older ones but they were still pretty decent titles but I found a lot of really cool things here that everybody else has been finding. One of them I've opened because I don't think anybody showed you the contents of one of them and I'll show you that last. That's absolutely crazy. Um, but I picked up D-Train uh, with James Marsden and Jack Black. I'm not sure what I did, you know. People said that they like Jack Black stuff, but they've never heard of this one. So I have no clue about this one at all. Um, but anyway, some sort of a class reunion of some kind. Don't really know. Probably his 20th or something. No idea. So there's that one there. And then I have a couple of Blu-rays here in a second here. But I want to grab this one because I believe that these were videotape VCR tapes that I had and they got um, damaged um, I believe I believe those are the DVDs that I had or sorry I had these on VCR tape the Rugrats movie and the Rugrats go wild and recently the uh, D or VCR ate one of the tapes and ruined it so I, that's really cool to have this uh, double feature on DVD and that was the only copy there you know that's the thing about these Dollar Tree hauls some people say they never find anything or their stores never get anything it's because depending on your area lots of youtubers grab stuff and they'll grab the one-off titles and if you don't get there early enough then you're not gonna find anything good um, so that was the only copy of this I saw there were two copies of this believe it or not and some people would be shocked that I found this Star Trek Beyond really cool it says the best action movie of the year I don't know about that one but Star Trek Beyond and I'm trying to complete the Star Trek collection more or less I have a good I don't know not the newer movies but the old classic ones I got about 65 75 percent of those I'm missing just only a couple don't really know I'm not trying to get them all on blu-ray and then just for nostalgia purposes I don't know if I've seen this before but I got Benji's very own Christmas story I have passed on other Benji stuff because I've had it on VCR tape and you know it's just um, a huge fan of Benji when I was a kid I think I had a poster hanging up a Benji and I don't know if that's there I think Joe Camp is still alive that produced Benji but I haven't written to him yet I want to see if I can maybe get his autograph on something uh, if he's possible to, to obtain. Now this is the most massive DVD set I think I've ever purchased at uh, Dollar Tree and it's like a huge it, it's like almost like you could fit two VCR tapes in there. The best of British this is uh, a national or a the National Archives that's crazy. I don't know what the set A or what that A there is, but it says the National Archives. That's absolutely insane. Four DVD and memorabilia collection. I did not know what that was. Nobody's opened it up and showed you, but I will show you what this is all about here. There is the insane box there. I don't know when this came out because I couldn't find a copyright date on the packaging here. It might be on the bottom here. Um, it's all rights reserved. Uh, 2012 so that's been out for quite a while um, but this is very appropriate for all the things going on right now and it comes with this large packaging here shows the Beatles there and um, there's the the spine there from the other side and you open it up and there's all kinds of crazy stuff so there's some DVDs and memorabilia right there that's absolutely insane and then what we do is look at the DVDs first I can slip them out of here it's not really easy to do um, Actually, you don't slip them out of here. I believe, oh, yeah, that's right. This is a flip over cover. So you flip this cover up here. Keep calm and carry on. That's pretty neat. And there are the DVDs. We'll just pull these out of here if I can get them out of here. This is going to be a fun watch here. Britain in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Flashback, 50 events that changed Britain. The Battle of Britain. And the coronation of Britain. Now that's a really insane, amazing set. So if that wasn't enough, then you get a memorabilia packet. And this is really fancy packaging here. 
it gives you an idea what some of the things are on the memorabilia page. We'll just go back to this memorabilia pocket right here. Very well put together and thought out set here. And then it comes in this little packet here with Edward on there. It's really cool. And then it comes with like a little seal and that seal just popped right open. Uh, Kitchener Delicious uh, Toffee or whatever right there. I open this up and it's just way too massive to show you everything but there's all kinds of little goodies in here there might oh there's there's some things that are like tobacco card sized things here that's really pretty neat I'll show you that one there some of them don't have backs on it here's Kitchener delicious uh, uh, 1d toffee that's when they don't that's before they change to the current monetary system here and there's all these little pictures here saving certificates uh, shopping centers for the London tube the underground a rally around the flag. I think there's something else. And the backs are mostly just, you know, look to make it look like they're vintage. There's a. Is that the Battle of Britain? I'm not sure what that is there. Uh, National War Bonds. And then there's all kinds of, like, uh, papers that you can fold out and read, and photographs, and posters, and it just goes on and on and on. It's just absolutely insane, the amount of cool stuff to eat. Uh, Wagstaff's Delicious Jams. I mean, that is insane, just in self. If you got a DVD that had, or Blu-ray set that had just this little promotional little fold-out thing here alone, that would be sometimes worth it to buy that, but it just got... Dozens. I mean, I only got 50 papers or something like that. I don't really ridiculous. Like I said, these little tobacco card sized things are pretty neat here. This one got a little bent in here, but Kitchener delivered, and then they're just like a you know a blank back there. But really amazing set there for a buck 25. If you can find that, that's absolutely worthwhile grabbing that. Not that you would ever watch it, but it might be something worth reselling because I have no idea what this. There's another little card that's in here. A little tobacco card here. That is really cool. I think uh, this is a uh, something uh, guards, uh, grenadier guards, and I think that's actually uh, based on a real tobacco card. Um, I may have actually seen this on on one of the websites, maybe ComC. I don't know. Really cool. It does not show it back there, but really, really amazing set there. I'm already seven and a half minutes. I was going to show some other stuff here. I will show one DVD that I just finished watching if I can find it here. Um, put all this stuff back in the envelope before I. Because, um, this is organization is, is very very key in this um in this hobby of collecting movies and and uh, cards and records and that kind of stuff. And put this back in here. And the movie I watched, actually not a movie, it was a, a educational program, uh, the Real National Treasure, an inside look at the Library of Congress. That's it amazing in itself this was a library um, DVD pickup from the library sale and unfortunately those stickers will not clean off there um, the Library of Congress would know how to get rid of those if they wanted to um, but really informative even though this came out in 2012 I think it what it is these um, uh, his, history um, forget what they call them the history channel specials or what it, modern marvels is what it is these are very very popular and then there is a disc there and whatever was on the disc cleaned off quite nicely I'm not sure if that little halo there is from from the sticker there I don't remember but really cool to have this and it played just fine usually I have better luck sometimes with used movies about the same it's about 50 50 most used movies in any condition I've, I've purchased have played um, just fine uh, there was some you know other discs that I bought that cost more in fact a uh, set that I bought brand new um, had a bad disc in it so you know that just things happen so that is what I have for you a little surprise extra DVD haul and I was gonna show you my scout stuff and I just don't have enough time to do that uh, maybe I do. Here, hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. A little bonus material here. So I found some really crazy scout stuff here. I found a couple of scout books here and they only cost me 39 cents a piece. Official uniforms and insignia. So that is really amazing there. This is from 1965 or something like that. So that's really pretty neat to have that. So again, 39 cents for that. How could you go wrong? And I have another little book here. I found everything cost me $2.66. There's the Philmont 1982 Guidebook to Adventure. Philmont is in Arizona, I believe. Um, it's it's a scout ranch. I think a scout ranch or New Mexico. Sorry, uh, Cimarron, Cimarron, New Mexico. Uh, so that's cool. And this one is yeah, 1982 for that one. And then we have 
This huge pack at the War Finance Committee, House to House, Boy Scouts of America. That was absolutely insane to find that. I couldn't find another one on eBay. And it's all this old, uh, you know, savings bonds and war loans. And these are all decals and stickers. And, and, and uh, it looks like a bumper sticker or something. These are things you could, um, you know, display in your house. And here's the fourth war loan. There's a whole bunch of packets for that, brochures for that. And then there's some other kind of... Um, um, poster type thing to um, display in your windows or whatever, just instructions for things. And that's really pretty cool. There's the fourth war loan. I looked up some of this stuff on eBay and then it was like I said not very much. There's a little fold out piece of cardboard here um, for the Treasury Department. Official agent of U.S. Treasury Department War Finance Committee Boy Scouts of America 1944. It's absolutely insane this whole packet was still there. That's something that the archives needs. Um, and there's this here, a bunch of applications for government securities. That's crazy. There's another one of these. And I believe another one of these. And even some more of these. That's absolutely insane. All, all of that. Um, then I found some scout postcards here of a scout ranch or reservation or whatever. This is, I think, a Poing Skill, Post and Kill. I think it looks like Post and Kill New York. Everything in New York ends in Kill. Fish Kill, Peak Skill, all that stuff. And these are probably from the 1970s. I wished I could grab the rest of the guy's collection, but unfortunately it was just going to be too massive and too expensive. And it's just really not worth it. There was a bunch of uh, um, Eagle Court um, ceremony pamphlets and stuff for different people. It's all East Coast stuff. Here's Allen Reservation. I need to look up this 1994 or 1944 patch. Totally beat up, totally ruined, uh, moth damaged big time, these felt patches. And I don't know what council that is. I can't read that. I am not exactly sure. Simonov. It looks like Simonov. And then the rest of the lettering might have gotten onto the TP there. You cannot read that. It's just, to time, it's just ruined. Got a couple of these. Uh, first day issue things. They have no value. Zero value. Maybe 25 cents, 50 cents a piece. That's what I would get. But they're on eBay all day long for a dollar, dollar fifty. And that's all the scout stuff that I grabbed, I believe. I think there was maybe one more postcard and some belt loops, which I don't have here at the moment. The belt loops were in a bag. Oh, here's another postcard here. This is a marine land, a game farm, and then it's got some scout stuff on the back of it. Somebody has doing going through some sort of uh, wood badge program or something, wood badge course, rotary scout training course um, in New York. So somebody's New York scout collection got donated. A lot of stuff was really pretty common, but again, um, it was all beat up old binders and it just was not worth grabbing. I really wanted to, but space constraints, I'm not like the National Archives that can get 14,000 items, you know, a day or a week or whatever, how much ridiculous amount of stuff. Oh yeah, and here's another decal. Um, this is the official posters displayed here in cooperation with the Office of War Information. That came in that packet. Again, absolutely amazing. I've got to put all that back together because otherwise it's just not going to have a spot. I do have a spot for it on some shelves, but I really I ran out of space years ago and I need to stop um, collecting this stuff until I can get everything organized and put away. It's just really a never-ending battle. I know everybody who... Um, does all their YouTube videos. They either chose to show the back of their room, like John Wade Boggs. Uh, he basically showed, did a room tour, and I'm not a able to do a room tour anytime soon, maybe not even the next three or four years. It's really unfortunate, because I did a room tour one time, not of this particular room, but where I had my stuff, and that is just completely devastated right now. Have taken everything down and removed the train set that was in that room and all that kind of stuff. Really unfortunate, but it had to be done. But I had an amazing time yesterday, an amazing time over the weekend with all the uh, the COMC madness and then I went to historic images and bought some really cool photographs some of them are going to be donated to a museum not the National Archives not the Library of Congress just a local museum I had a really fun time because everything was five dollars a piece and I basically went back to that sale and bought another three more pictures for the collection and you'll get to see those in the next upcoming weeks along with some autographs that have been in the mail for a little while and my purchasing after the uh, stamp, upcoming stamp show and a few small Christmas presents here for a small Christmas. I'm done purchasing for a very long time and I'll just show you whatever happens to come back in the mail postcard wise or, or autograph wise. And thank you for watching. Paper, rock, scissors. Oh, why use all this mathematical, analytical? I'm starting to say bullshit. Hey.